hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is dami i'm a makeup artist based in lagos nigeria in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a quick and easy way to switch your bridal makeup look from trad to church please keep watching and don't forget to like and subscribe i'm going to start by using my zaron cosmetics micellar water to cleanse her face with a cotton pad I'm going to do this twice or more till I can see little or no dirt on the cutting pad. Always make sure you cleanse the face properly before you apply other products. Don't forget our under eye and the corners of our nose. Next, I'm using the Mario Badescu spray to hydrate her face. While her face is still damp, I'm applying the Cosrx serum. I'm applying this with a brush then I'll use my fingers to massage it into her skin. When you are prepping the skin, it's important that you allow the skin absorb one product before going in with the next. So I'm going to use a fan to speed up the drying process. Next, I'm applying the Embryolis Moisturizer. I'm using a brush to glide the moisturizer on the skin. Then I'll use my fingers to massage it into her skin. I'm applying the Milk Hydro Grip Primer all over her face except the under eye so the under eye can retain moisture from the moisturizer. I'm using the Becca Primer to mattify her eyebrows and her T-zone. I'm using the Airbrush Setting Spray to lock all that skin prep in. For foundation, I mixed these two V Beauty foundations. I'm tapping the foundation into her skin with a fluffy brush. This model doesn't have an even skin tone. Her face is lighter than her neck and her chest area is lighter than her neck and her face. So I'm going to match the foundation with her neck and I'm going to match the concealer for a highlight with her chest area so that there is a balance. I'm spraying the foundation with the Milk Makeup Spray and I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender to further blend in the foundation. Spraying your foundation before blending gives that skin-like feel. It's really nice. You should try it if you don't do this. For concealer, I'm using the Kevin Concealer. I think this is shade 12. I'm applying it on the inner corner of her under eye, the outer corner of her eyes to give her face a lift and on her T-zone. I'm blending with a damp beauty blender. This is the same beauty blender that I used to blend the foundation. I'm using another side of the beauty blender to blend the concealer. Then I'll use the side that I use for the foundation to blend the harsh lines, just like I'm doing in the video. For the under eye, I like to blend from the outer corner to the inner corner because I want more coverage in the inner corner of her eyes. And I'm just patting with a light hand. I'm just, I'm not swiping. I'm just gently patting with a light hand. I repeat the same thing on the other side. I'm using L'Oreal Foundation in C11 to contour her nose. I'm applying e.l.f. concealer on the inner corner of her under eye to brighten that area. Then I'll let that sit for a while because I want more coverage in that area. I'll use that time to apply my cream blush. I'm using the Tehila Cosmetics Cream Blush and I'm going to mix these two shades. I'm using the side of the beauty blender I used for the foundation to blend out all the harsh lines. Now I'm blending the concealer under her eyes. Please, it's not all concealers that you can leave to sit for a while before you blend. There are some concealers that you need to blend them immediately. Because if you leave them for a while, it's going to be very dry and it will be hard to blend. 
so this is what we have after blending now i'm going to set our under eye with the makeup forever powder in y505 if you want you can skip this step and set with your loose setting powder just do what works for you before setting the under eye you want to make sure that you go back with your beauty blender to blend the under eye properly so that there is no creasing and then you set immediately I'm using a small fluffy brush to set the under eye area. Most times I use a dry beauty blender. When I'm working with clients that have teary eyes, I don't allow them look up for a very long time. I try to be as fast as possible when I'm setting the eyes and I do this one eye at a time. When I'm done with the first eye, I give her a break to look down. Then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender to blend the other eye. Then I'm going to set. I'm setting all the areas that I highlighted with the same Makeup Forever powder. I'm going to use an exact shade of powder from the F&M powder palette to set the rest of her face. I'm using a dark shade from the same palette to contour her nose. I'm applying Morphe Bronzer in Prodigy. Now I'm going to sculpt her nose and bake her face with the Mirac Powder in Cinnamon and Beauty by AD Setting Powder in Beige. I mixed these two setting powders together. For her brows, I'm using the Ever Sheen Black Pencil to outline, then I'm going to fill in with the Davies Pencil in 03. For me, when it comes to brows, I just follow the natural brow structure. I don't overline, I just follow the natural brow. That's why I don't have one type of brow for all clients. I draw according to the client's natural eyebrow structure. Except the client asks me to do otherwise. Now I'm using the Davies pencil in 03 to create hair like strokes. This is what we have. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm highlighting the brows with a concealer. You want to do this very carefully so that you don't ruin your brows. You just go in little by little, create the line and drag the concealer down just like so. I like to use a darker concealer on the tail of the eyebrows and the beginning of the brow. I'm going to repeat the same step on the other side. I'm using a blending brush to blend harsh lines. So this is what we have. Now we're going to move to eyeshadow. For the eyeshadow, I'm using the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I'm using a brush to apply the base and I'll blend in properly. So I decided to do a matte eyeshadow for the first look. And for matte eyeshadows, you need to get your base right. And you need to blend your base properly so that your eyeshadow does not crack. I'm using this shade from the F&M powder palette as my first transition color. So remember that we're switching up the look from engagement to the white wedding or the nakai. Now it's easier for you to switch from white wedding makeup to engagement makeup. That's like switching from day makeup to night makeup. Because usually the um, engagement makeup is heavier than the white wedding makeup or the nikai most people would show you how to switch from the white wedding makeup to the engagement makeup but in reality the engagement comes first i think it's like a nigerian thing we always have to get married traditionally first before you move to the church or the mocks so because of the economy of the country a lot of people do all of this wedding on the same day so it means that you have to get ready 
in the morning for your traditional wedding and then you move to church immediately after you get married traditionally if you're a makeup artist and you get booked for a two-in-one event the first question that you're going to ask your client if she's a christian is the church that she's going to be getting married because there are some churches in nigeria that do not allow makeup at all and there are some churches in nigeria that allow makeup but very little makeup and also there are some christians that do their white wedding in the hall the same applies to the muslims there are some muslims that get married in the mosque and some people like to do the ceremony in the hall so you need to find out all this information and also get to know the type of person that your client is there are some people that naturally they don't like to wear makeup so when you get a client like that you want to be as subtle as possible with her bridal makeup so that she doesn't feel weird on her big day usually you don't get enough time to switch between the traditional look and the white wedding look this is because of course you know that the hairstylist also has to come in to do her hair and everything while she's trying to dress up for church and the rush is always a lot so for me i just like to play safe from the beginning if her church or her mosque doesn't allow heavy makeup i'm not going to work with pigments or glitters for the engagement i'm just going to do something nude on the eyes and do like a very bold lips and when she's going to church i'm just going to switch the lips to nude but if she's getting married in a church that doesn't mind i can work with pigments or glitters for the traditional wedding you know she can even take the same makeup to church because the truth is that most times we might not even change the look from the engagement to the white wedding we might just touch up and then the bride is on our way because like i said the rush is always a loss there might not even be time for any of these things so i'm using this nude shade from the huda beauty palette as my main color when you're working with eyeshadow the trick is for you to use the right brushes and know how to blend properly a good technique to remember when applying matte eyeshadow is that you should pat the product on the eyelid don't use sweeping motion patting the eyeshadow on the lid helps ensure an even smooth and pigmented distribution so i'm just adding more black to the outer corner of her eyes because i want the black to be very obvious in that area i'm setting her brow bone with the orange eyeshadow in the huda beauty palette so i used a concealer and a small brush to create this sharp line to give her face a lift now i'm just setting the concealer with a powder I'm using the Inglot gel liner to line her eyes. I'm using MAC powder in dark as my finishing powder. I'm applying this on all the areas that I highlighted. To set the rest of her face, I don't remember what powder this is, but it's either the MAC or Sephora powder. I'm using the Milk Setting Spray to set her face. I'm just using this palette to cover the eyeshadow because I don't want the setting spray to touch the eyeshadow. I'm using a Beauty Blender to gently press the setting spray into her skin. I'm using the Hega Anesta Eyebrow Gel to finish my brows. I like to do the finishing of my eyebrows with this Hega Anesta product. I'm moisturizing her lips with Vaseline Lip Therapy. I'm lining her lips with the Ega Anesta Brow Gel. I'm using the same one that I used for the finishing of her eyebrows. I'm using the brush to blend as I'm applying because this is a brow gel. You have to blend immediately so that it doesn't dry up. If it dries, it's going to be hard to blend. Next, I'm applying the Eye Magic Lip Palette. I'm going to be mixing these two shades. Make sure that you blend the colors properly the same way you blend your eyeshadow very well it's the same way that you blend your lips 
properly so that there is no harsh lines so this is what we have now i'm just applying mascara and i'm going to fix our false lashes off camera now it's time to tie our gele gele is an important part of yoruba traditional wedding this is ezekiel gele you guys should follow him on instagram he has a gele academy where they teach you how to tie different styles of gele he's my boss so people should follow him and tell him that i sent you so that he's going to give you a discount i can't show you guys all the process of the gele because most times these people stand in front of the bride to tie and they're always covering the camera so i can't be showing you their back obviously i just keep the steps maybe i'll bring ezekiel on this channel to give us a detailed tutorial of at least one style of gele ezekiel if you are watching this video we're coming for you you come and teach us how to tie gele on this channel so you guys should let me know in the comment section if you're interested in a gele tutorial maybe i can force my boss to come and teach us so but please follow him on instagram i'll leave the link to his page in the description i'll leave the link to my instagram page in the description as well follow us on instagram book also for your oambe for your weddings for any ceremony we are available home and abroad please book us thanks so we're done with the gele now i'm just reapplying the matte eyeshadow i'm making it pop more then i'm going to apply this nyx glitter primer under eyes because i want to put some pigment there now i'm just placing the pigment very carefully next i'm spraying her face with the airbrush setting spray i'm applying classic clear gloss on her lips I'm using Wink Beauty Mascara to brush out her lower lashes. Next, I'm using the So Pro Silit Spray. This spray is a TikTok spray. Every time I bring out this spray, my clients will say, oh, is it not that TikTok spray? Amazing product. So this is the final look for the engagement. This model is so pretty. You guys should let me know what you think about this look in the comment section. So it's time to switch up the look we're assuming that the engagement is over and it's time to prepare her for church so the hairstylist is going to take out the gilly which is such a relief for the bride and she's going to style her hair while i touch up with the makeup the hairstylist is ay ay the week stylist on instagram and tiktok i'm going to leave the link to our instagram page in the description please follow her on instagram and book her for your event i'm cleaning her lips with wipes and micellar water i reapplied the lip moisturizer now i'm just going to use this new shade from this lip palette i got from aliexpress it has no name I was going to apply that shade all over her lips so when i'm working with a bride for a two-in-one event i like to change her lips first so that in case there is not enough time to change the eyes she can still go to church like this because i tell you the rush for a two-in-one event is no joke so you have to work hand in hand with the hairstylist you don't have to wait for her to finish the hair before you change the makeup because you remember that she's also going to take pictures before going to church now i'm lining her lips with the dark brown shade in the eye magic lip palette next i'm using this blotting paper from mary Kay to remove excess oil from her skin the blotting paper is like a thin paper that helps to absorb excess oil from the surface of the skin without disturbing the makeup so i'm just going to press this on her skin to remove oil I also like to use this to remove excess oil from the eyebrows as well. Now I'm adding more black to the outer corner of her eyes. Another way that you can switch up the look is by applying pigment on the tear duct area. So I'm just applying the elf glitter primer on her tear duct then I will apply pigment. so this is what we have you can also apply pigment on the entire lid i'm just gonna go in with 
my elf glitter primer again and i'm going to place pigment on my entire lid to switch up the eyes again i've given you like three looks that you can do for your bride in just one video you guys should please like this video and share this video with your friends the hairstylist is finishing up the hair then i'm going to reapply powder and spray her face with the mario badescu spray you can use the milk makeup spray to do this this is the finished look please let me know which of these looks is your favorite in the comment section and please do not forget to like this video by giving this video a thumbs up please share the link to this video with your friends and your family and please subscribe to my channel if you have not thank you for watching i'll see you guys in my next video